What's up guys, Quizzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial, and this one's on how to make this wired effect around text and such that I did for this auto background, and uh, my policy for tutorials is that if I get four or five requests, I'll do one, and as soon as I posted the speed art, maybe four hours ago, I've already gotten about 11 or 12 requests for this, so I thought I'd do it. And I couldn't even find a tutorial on how to do this on YouTube, so this might be the first one. I don't know, maybe I just didn't do a good job searching, but let's get into it. So first off, you're going to need the plugin Reaper X, and uh, I'll put the download in the description. But what you're going to want to do is you want to go to MoGraph text, get some text in there. And I'm just going to name this to. Yeah, you can also use logos and stuff too, it'll work the same way. Um, choose a font, and my Cinema 4D will freeze right now. So let me just. Alright, and still frozen. Okay, I'll just come back when it's ready. Okay, I'm back. And you're going to want to choose a font. I'm just going to choose like a clean font. Mm, that works. And for depth, you're going to want to do like 70 or 80. I'm um, going to do 80. And then caps. Fill it cap, fill it cap, one centimeter radius, and that's my usual setup. And then when you're done with that, you're just going to right click on your text. Or if, it, if you're using a logo, you don't have to do this. But you want to make edible, and just get this, and drag the text folder out. And now you'll have extrude nerves with the path and that's what you want and then you're going to want to duplicate this and just drag the path out of each letter and then delete the nerves and for now you can just leave this alone but alright so I'm going to rotate this a bit so you don't have to do this but I'm going to do it anyway so just highlight the first letters and just rotate it however you want. Alright, that's good. Alright, and then once you do that, oh, I'm just going to drag these out of this folder. You're going to want to go to uh, Plugins, Reaper X duplicate for as many paths as you have and drag all the paths in and you should get this rope effect around everything and uh, once you do that just highlight all of your reaper um, uh, reaper x thingies folder things and drag down the radius to three and the distance you can play with I like to make it slightly bigger so like something like that and yeah and um, you can also go to interpolation and there's B spline you can go to linear and it gives it like a jagged edge which is pretty cool if you want to make it into like a barbed wire type thing when I was playing around with that earlier uh, keep it on B spline and I like to go to strand caps and go to fillet cap fill a cap and go down to one. I don't know if it even does anything, but I did it the first time, so just thought I'd do it again. And yeah, so that's pretty much all you gotta do for that. And then you just wanna add materials, and I like to add a colored material on the Reaper. So I'm just gonna use this grungy red. And for the normal text, I'm gonna use a grungy gray. 
and we'll render this out really fast. You get something like this. And as you can see, it's a pretty cool effect. Looks really good on grunge style backgrounds. And yeah, you can play around with this. Uh, you can do a lot with this. I'm still experimenting with it, but for the most part, this is how you just get it around the text quite easily. You can also just get a um, uh, go to the orange little benz benzier thingy and click that, and you can like drag it around your text and stuff, and then drag that into. Um, a Reaper X plugin folder like that and do that. So yeah, but this is pretty much the basics. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and please like if this video helped you and uh, also subscribe for more tutorials and uh, peace.